Taylor here with AgriSpray Drones. So if you've seen our other videos, you probably are pretty familiar with how these drones spray crops. But what if I told you you could paint something, like a greenhouse? Today we're using the T40 to paint basically a sunlight limiting paint on a greenhouse. Uh, whenever it gets hot in the summertime and greenhouses get hot inside, so how do you reduce the heat? Well, shade canopy is one way, but that takes time. So what about painting it? It's exactly what we're doing right now. So we're gonna meet with Mike with Reggie Systems. He's gonna tell, you about, tell us about the product, tell us how it works. Then we'll take a look at the drone and just see what kind of job it's doing. Thanks for the invitation to come out today. Like Taylor said, my name is Mike Eaton. I'm from Lumaforte. Uh, Lumaforte is the manufacturer of the Regis Systems product line. The product we're applying today is, uh, is called Regisol. So Regisol is a white chalk-based coating that's a removable coating. And so what you want to do with Regisol, you want to apply Regisol if you have an abundance of light levels, uh, uh, an abundance of uh, radiant heat that's coming into the greenhouse. So with Regisol, it's going to block out the, the reduce the light levels as well as reduce the inf uh, infrared radiation that comes inside the greenhouse, taking the stress away from the plants. The advantage of using a product like Regisol is it's a removable product. Um, and so you have the ability to go and remove the product at the end of the season when you want to let more light, more heat into the greenhouse. Depending on how they're set up, I think I really see the the uh, the opportunity for growth is going to be in the low to mid tech market. Tunnels tunnels are a great opportunity where they're growing soft fruits, uh, that type of thing, and they're in rows and series of, uh, of of tunnels where there's not necessarily a gutter connect, and so it's really difficult to apply a, a coating like this on top of a greenhouse like that. Now with the application of drones, there will be no issues. So um, really opening up new markets. Uh, for drones, for coatings, and allow us to get some of more, even our more technical coatings in places where they typically haven't been able to go before. We just finished up our greenhouse painting job here in Columbia, Missouri. So what do we learn from this? We learned that the drone works extremely well to apply this product as long as you use the right settings and the right mix ratio. The company right now, since you know, drones are so new, they have mix ratios for handspring, mix ratios for uh, aircraft, so helicopter on very large greenhouses are using helicopters to uh, apply this product, but no mix ratios for drones. And so we had to do some back figuring to, uh, to get the correct ratio, figure out how many gallons per acre. We figured out about 40 gallons per acre, split over two shots, worked really, really, really good. And then when it comes to the actual effect, what does it compare to? So Mike with Regisol, who you met earlier, he was looking inside as the drone was flying on that second pass. And he said, the best way to put you know, this shading on is with uh, kind of a tracked vehicle that goes over the top of the greenhouse that rides on the ridge and it rides in the gutters. And it's like a boom sprayer that just rides across the top of the greenhouse and you pull it off with the truck, go to the next side. And he said, that second pass with the drone in his opinion, looks very similar, if not identical, to what that boom type applicator would look like. So he's incredibly pleased with this type of application. You know, who is this a good fit for? I guess we should talk about that. Mike touched on it, but you know, he says, you know, up, up in Canada and other places where you have lots of greenhouses, there's gonna be a lot of, uh, a lot of applicators, a lot of helicopters that are gonna be able to do this. But what about if you've got an acre like we have here in New York, Missouri? How do you do this? Well, prior to us being here, they were doing this with a backpack sprayer or a hand sprayer. Said it took them about three to four days. This job right here, an acre greenhouse at 40 gallons per acre should take you an hour. I'm ta we're talking about a tremendous increase in safety, tremendous increase in efficiency. We're gonna be putting together the workflow, start to finish, from the mapping process, to the setup process, to the mixing pro process, and the application process, start to finish for you guys. If you want to learn more and want to learn how to do this, please contact us and let us know. We'd be glad to help you out. Thanks. <laughs>